In today's video, I've got five facts about Kiyotaka Ayana Koji from the series Classroom of the Elite slash a character analysis video. So we will be going over Ayana Koji's bio, his personality, the backstory, and more. <laughs> Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And if you enjoy these fact videos, make sure to smash that like button and share this video with a fellow fan of the series. Now, for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a video. Anyway, with that being said, grab yourself a beverage, let's roll intro, and get straight into the video. Kiyotaka Ayanokoji is the main protagonist of the Classroom of the Elite series. He is currently a second year student in Class 2D of the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School. He of course made his debut in Episode 1 of the anime and Volume 1 of the light novel. Ayana Koji's birthday is on the 20th of October, making him a Libra and is currently 16 years of age. He also shares the same birthday as Ryuan. Ayana Koji is described as a handsome young man. Kushida herself in the light novel said that Ayana Koji actually ranked fifth out of the first year boys, but you know, she's super freaking crazy, so uh, I, don't, I don't know if you want to take her word for it. The guy's pretty well built, though. We saw this, uh, you know, in the swimming pool episode, and this was pointed out by Horikita, so he does have that going for him. He also stands at five foot nine, so he has some decent height on him, too. As for his hair, it is shortish and brown in color that is worn down with a slight parting in the middle. As for his eyes, damn, you know, well, they are brown in color, but the guy's facial expressions always look so dead, yet his eyes always convey his mood. Obviously not what he's really up to, but I always look at Ayana Koji as a total vibe in whatever situation he is in. I, I just somehow get whatever it is that he's feeling. Attire-wise, we mainly see him in his school uniform with his shirt unbuttoned at the top with his tie worn slack, though we have seen him in some casual attires outside of school hours. Personality-wise, well, where to start? Ayano Koji comes across as a very modest, unnoticeable person with a quiet demeanor. A student whose grades are average, though, you know, of course, we do know this was his own doing when he managed to score exactly 50 out of 100 for every subject. Deep down, though, he is a very clear, intelligent, and perceptive dude who has an ability to just read the emotions, behaviors, and intentions of those around him. He is always sat there in silence, and you can just see that the clogs are ticking around in his head as he reads the situation at hand, as well as the many outcomes that he calculates and manipulates into his own favor. He is, of course, somewhat socially awkward and is often either terrible at communicating with, you know, others, or will boldly state what he is feeling or or his thoughts on said topic of conversation. For this reason, he tends to keep himself to himself and will choose not to get involved in any social activities. Any conversations he has tend to be very short and to the point. Ayana Koji is 100% definitely a guy who does not like to draw attention to himself and will always push the credit for his actions onto others. Now, this is usually at Horikita's expense, but we have seen him give others the credit, such as Kushida, when he brought the answers from some old tests way back in the beginning of the series. There is just so much mystery surrounding this guy with only ever short cracks on show to give us viewers an idea of his true intentions. The end of series one of the anime May was a very good example where he declared that everyone around him were nothing but mere tools and that he would use them as such to help him claim his true intent which is winning winning is more important to him than anything else now it is worth mentioning here that his personality in the light novel compared to the anime is somewhat different as he does show more emotion though it is mainly in a comedic way but he still maintains that serious mindset of his Either way, Ayana Koji is certainly a very interesting case and a great character to watch. Ayana Koji's Japanese voice actor is Shoya Chiba.
He has voiced other characters such as Shine Nozin in 86, Makio Tanihara from Horimiya, Ko Minamito in Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, and more. Ayana Koji's English voice actor is Justin Briner. Oh, so now you're satisfied? Then tell me something. Is it true that an outsider attempted to get me expelled? He has voiced other characters such as Izuku Midoriya in My Hero Academia, Luke Voltia in Black Clover, Zaref in Fairy Tail, and more. Ayana Koji's backstory is one that is relatively unknown, almost shrouded in complete mystery. However, we have had glimpses of what has happened to him. Through flashbacks, we have seen that Ayana Koji was part of a group of kids in a white room, seemingly run by an unknown organization who looked to be running tests and experiments on them. The expressions he carries now, those of an unresponsive, emotionless person, were clearly seen on him back then as well, as he watched the kids around him or simply got on with whatever test he was part of at the time. His father was also seen in one of these flashbacks telling him, those who don't reveal their talents are fools. Something I guess you could say Ayan Okoji has rebelled against as we clearly know that he is holding something back. Chabashira herself said that Class 1D is for those with defective traits and that Ayan Okoji is the most defective student of the class due to the fact that he purposely holds back his true talents. We can imagine that the kids went through rigorous training exercises and challenges where one by one the children dropped off until only Ayan Okoji remained the lone survivor of this unknown group of children. From this, we can understand that his intent to win above all else was more than likely drilled into him from this time period. Now, at some point in time, this white room was temporarily shut down, and this was the chance Ayana Koji needed to escape. We were told that he had the assistance of his butler, Matsuo. It was Matsuo who told Ayana Koji to enroll at the Advanced Nurturing High School as a chance to live a normal life and to be out of the reach of his father. In terms of abilities, we can assume that Ayana Koji was molded into what he is now from his time spent in the White Room in his youth. He has much more physical abilities than he lets on. First of all, in his physique, but also as we saw when he stepped in on Manabu and Suzune's encounter in early events of the series. Now, it's important to note that Manabu is a veteran black belt and Ayana Koji managed to dodge him with complete ease and even managed to force Manabu to put distance between them when he deflected one of his blows. Ayana Koji is of course extremely intelligent, even more intelligent than Suzune who has the highest scores in class D. He is a master of planning ahead and pulling off some incredible moments that others either hadn't thought of themselves or would have failed in executing. We have seen on many, many occasions that Ayana Koji is an expert in negotiations, be it getting those old test answers, overturning Sudo's expulsion, and so on. He has an abundance of smarts, charm, and deception in his arsenal, and he is certainly not afraid of using all the tools at his disposal in order to achieve his own goals. Arguably, his greatest ability is that of his perception and how he studies everyone's movements and personalities. He just always seems to be two or three steps ahead of everyone else, and if a situation is unfolding, you just know that he already has it figured out. And that is it for Ayana Koji. I hope you learned something new from today's video or at least enjoyed revisiting these facts on this character. Whilst you wait for more Classroom of the Elite character fact videos, make sure to click on the video link here to see 10 facts on your forger from last season's Spy Family series. Until then, I'll see you soon. Peace!